Hey, what's going on guys? Cayman here and welcome back to the Trainer Tale YouTube channel. We are doing a pack opening video for the first time on the channel, hence why you see the different setup. You obviously see my camera recording the packs below, but today we are opening the Lost Origins and Silver Tempest booster bundles. So yeah, so we're going to crack into both of these, see which gives us the best pack look and which is the best value for your money. So your Silver Tempest, we'll start off with both of these boxes, should I say, both include six booster packs, so they are the same. So starting off with Silver Tempest, the chase card you want to pull is the Alternate Art Lugia, whereas Lost Origins is the Giratina. Both absolutely stunning cards. Let me know in the comments below which one your favourite is. For me, I actually think the Lugia is better. I do really like the, the Giratina, but the Lugia for me just edges it. You've then got your Unknown Alternate Art and your Aerodactyl Alternate Art, where your Aerodactyl beats it for me and them two. But again, I do like both cards, and if we pulled any of these today, I'd be over the moon. Let's get straight into it, so we'll get straight into the battle. Like I said, six packs each. I think we'll go back and forward between one, one and the other. But these are quite nice things to pick up. I can't remember exactly how much I paid for them, but I will leave it on screen now. But I think these are some of the best value for money, what you can get with your six packs. I think they're about £24. So there's your two boxes. Obviously, the Lugia and the Giratina are your box arts because they are the most sought after cards in these sets. Did pick these up from Amazon. I know some people don't like buying cards from Amazon. I have not had a problem yet. I did actually as well, in the same order of this, I'll try and show you. I actually picked up this binder. You might be thinking what's special about this binder. Well, it's massive for starters, but I've not organized any of the cards. These are just a few I've put in just to see if it actually works, but it actually fits top loaders in. So as you can see, I've got my Jolteon VMAX alternate art with the V in the middle as well. I'll get it close to the camera so you can see. But they do in fact actually fit top loaders, giving your cards even more protection. Anyway, straight into the battle. Like I said, we'll start off with Silver Tempest. Hopefully we can get the Lugia or the Unknown. Not really expecting to get anything from these, but you never know. So there's your code card. I want to say the Patrick is four from the back. Could be wrong. Might get this first one wrong. We'll soon find out. No, we got it right. It's just the water energy. Got a Dragonair. Venomoth. Wallace. There's the Pikachu. Ponysaur. Venonat. We've got Spinder. We've got the Dragonite Reverse. And a Medichan Hollow. So it is a hit. Nothing special though into the first Lost Origin. So we did actually get a Hollow in the first pack. White code cards I don't think are good. I'm not sure if they changed it or not. But again, we go four from the back. And we've got the Grass Energy. So we've got Rhydon, Horton, Roserade, Pinnacle, Gumi, Bronzor, Snova, Jinx, Electrike, and a Stone Journey non hollow. Getting into the second. Could have sworn the uh, other cards used to come on the other side. Two, three, four. Dark Energy, Drake Luke, we've got the Worker, Sunflora. Chimchow, Forest Seed, Pikachu again, Ponysaur, Venonat, Sunflora, and a Bravery non hollow. Back on to the Lost Origin now. You need to make some space on my desk. This is pretty hard to do when you've got everything here. A chop, there is something shiny there. Fingers crossed, it is the Giratina. I think that's four. So we'll go slow with it anyway. We got the fire energy. City, Swanner, a chop. And another Pikachu. I think we've had a Pikachu in every pack. Phantom, Pseudo Wudo, Electric, Damage Pump, and it's going to be a full art Rotom. Very nice. Massively off centered. Look at that. That is crazy off-centered. Nice card though, and definitely Lost Origin is winning. So two down, four to go of each. So back with the Silver Tempest. I think I saw something shiny here as well. Maybe not though, because it's the white code card. But this is what I'm saying. I don't know what they did with the code cards. 
I know the black ones normally give the good stuff. But there is a chance there's good stuff in this. But we'll find out when we get to it. So we've got Drowsy, Strevious, Whalmer, Mercuro, Brazilian, and it's nothing, it's an Arcanine. But so far, it's just the Medichan and this super off centered Rotom. Don't know why, but the, the full art cards at the minute, they're, they're just doing something for me. I prefer them to a lot of the uh, trainer galleries and stuff, but the Rotom is actually a nice one to pick up. Got the white code card again, so not expecting anything in this. I think that classes the energy, could be wrong. That's just normally the V-Star thing. Don't know why they put these in here. Waste of time. Damage Pump, Survivor, Lickitung, Slugma, Clefairy, Apom, Spinarak, Ra Ra I want to say Radiant. It is a Radiant. It's a Radiant Gardevoir, which is a very nice hit. I do have one of these in Japanese, and I do think I have one in English already. But that they're another set of cards I like. Talking about the full arts, the Radiant cards I think are so underrated. When you get them in, in the light like that, you just see how much they shined. They're some of my favourite cards. There's two hits anyway for Lost Origin. Lost Origin is winning. And even though I prefer the Lugia card, Lost Origin for me is the set at the minute. We've opened a lot of Scarlet and Violet. I have most of the chase cards there. We've got a black code card, so there is the chance of something being in here. But you just saw we got the Radiant card in the white code card. There's also that chance. Rock a Rock, Anarif, Meow Stick, Sandy Gas, Hot Lucha, Relicant, we've got a Boneri. We've actually skipped a card there. But it's Spinarak and Spinarak. And we've got something here. It's a Regilecki V. But it's another hit, but this time for Silver Tempest. Decent card to get. A lot of people using it a minute on the online game with the VMAX, which gives you the 30 damage extra to all your electric Pokemon. Two Silver Tempest, three Lost Origin to go. Again, Lost Origin still winning it with the full art and the Radiant Gardevoir. Not bad hits though in the Silver Tempest, just not as good as Lost Origin. I cannot get into this to save my life. Good try from upside down, there you go. They do say opening crisp packets upside down is bad luck. Is opening Pokemon cards upside down bad luck? Sorry, there's your code card. Or from the back. If it's water, we're getting something good. Psychic. Kamala. Autumn. Bronzor. Litwick. Rosalia. Rockruff. A seal. Shuppet. Rosalia again. And we've got the Aerodactyl V. It's not the alternate art, but again, it's another V. Teasing us. Teasing us. Halfway there. Not the alternate art, but still a very good card. That leaves us with a two each. So. So we'll leave Lugia and Gardevoir last, but again we'll go back to Silver Tempest. That opened really easy, but again we saw you can actually get stuff on the white code cards, so there's a chance there could be a Radiant card in here. Again we've got another one of these. Palisand, Matang, Sandy Ghast, Relicanth. Polucha, Rufflet, Vulpix, and a Radiant Jirachi, as I was just saying. And we don't actually have this Radiant card yet. Again, it's an absolute gorgeous card. I'm a massive fan of the Radiant cards, they're so underrated. I am actually trying to save up a good bunch of these to send off to PSA. Hopefully trying to get the full collection in PSA 10. I know that is really hard to do. They're not super expensive cards, so you could always go out and buy them. But it is one pullback for Silver Tempest. Again, I still don't think it's going to beat Lost Origin now. It needs something big in that last pack. It needs Lugia to, to pull that back. But even then, this Lost Origin has got two left. So there could be something in here. There could be a big banger in here. 
It's the white code card. Two, three, four again. Do we get another radiant card? Let's have a look. Cascoon. Ambipom. Swovit. Phalynx. Poliwag. It's right there. Oddish. Growlithe. And we've got the special art Pikachu. Which is another hit in the Lost Origins box. This one, another one of your trainer galleries. I do have this card in Japanese again. I do prefer, I know they've changed the colour of the borders for Scarlet and Violet. I do prefer the grey borders, but this is one of the cards which I actually prefer the yellow borders on. Just because it matches with the Pikachu. But again, another gorgeous card. Last Silver Tempest. Like I said, the only thing that can pull this back is probably a gold card. Maybe a rainbow. Definitely the unknown alternate art or the big hit in Lugia. Two, three, four from the back. We we'll flip it over. So we've got the lightning energy. Meow stick. Gallade. First time we've seen him today. Dratini. Stunface. Clink. There's something there. I've messed that up. What is that? S person. So it's going to be a trainer gallery card, I think. So it's fluffy. And it's a double hitter. It's just a V card. Double hitter though to end it off. Which is decent. It's a good finish for uh, the Silver Tempest. Again, I don't know if it beats Lost Origin. There is one pack to go. But I'll go through the hits at the end and then you can decide. Tell me in the comments who you think has won. Any big hit from here now would wipe Silver Tempest out of the water. I'm happy with both boxes though. I think we've had decent hits from both. Cards are needed in both. So I cannot complain. We have got the Black Borders. So there is the potential of something decent here. I'm saying it now, a big hit in this pack to finish it off. I will give away a packet of Sweet Cabin Sweets of your choice. Up on the snow. Lost City. Carbink. Flickitong. Slugma. A Fairy. Apon. Spinarak. We've got Relicamp for the reverse. What have we got at the back here? Just a hollow. It is a hit. Not massive. But again, it's a nice hit. So we'll go through the cards now. I think there is only one winner here for me. But like I said, I'll let you decide in the comments below. So we'll start off with the Lost Origin hits. Obviously, we've just got the Arcanine, which we just got in the hollow. We've got the Pikachu. Trainer Gallery. Aerodactyl V. Awesome, but not the one we're looking for. The Radiant Gardevoir, which is gorgeous. Shiny Gardevoir. And the super off-center Rotom. Look at the state of that. See, I love stuff like this, but I just wish they could have done it a bit more and it would have been a miscut. You know, just go into the other card slightly. But that is Lost Origin. Now we'll go on to the Silver Tempest, which it probably is closer than what you think. It is just the uh, the full art which does it. So we've got the Flaffy, the Gurner V. We then got the Radiant Jirachi, which is could actually be my favourite hit of the whole the whole opening. Gorgeous card. Regilecki and Medishan Hollow. So like I said, let me know in the comments below what you think won. For me, Lost Origin won a mile, but I am happy with what we got in both of the boxes, and I do think they're both great value for money.